What's up everybody? Hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm Biscuit Dog and we're back in beautiful Haines, Alaska, ready to mine some more gold. Actually, probably not ready to mine some more gold right now. Ready to start building the tier 3 wash plant. So we've got one, two, three, four, five sluice boxes to install. That's not a small number. It's gonna take us a while. We better get started. So I went to the store between episodes and I picked up a few little extra things. Uh, I picked up some cables to move these sluice boxes. I picked up some buckets. I refueled some jerry cans. I picked up a hose and a power cable for the magnetite separator, and obviously, I picked up the magnetite separator. So hopefully we'll make a little extra cash out of that too. I don't know if we'll get to setting this up this episode, um, but if we don't, we'll do it in the next episode. Good times. We've got lots and lots of work to do, so we might as well get started. Like we said in the last episode, it's probably better to do the sluice boxes first. And of the sluice boxes, it's probably better to do these two first, because they go right down at the bottom. And of these two, it's probably better to do this one first, because it's the far one. So this one that you put the mats in is the sluice box nearest to us, and this one is behind that. So it's better to start with this one, I think. We'll see. Time will tell. That may be a little confusing, but I'll show you guys in a minute. Okay, we've got a whole lot of cables. I don't know what the collective noun for cables is, but we've got one. A dangle. <laughs> we have a dangle of cables. I bought extras because uh, sometimes they snap. So I don't want to have to go all the way back to the store if one of them snaps. In fact, I got eight instead of four. So all four can snap and uh, we'll still have spares. Let's attach this here and there. Uh, there's three lengths of cables as well. I think I got the middle length, five meters. You get four meters, five meters, and I think seven meters. So I thought this was probably the safest bet. Right there, one over there. And one more. Okay, we're hooked up and good to lift this one. Man, we've got a lot of excavator driving to do. Alright, let's take her up nice and slow. Well, that's not very high off the ground, is it? Let's move the bucket. Oh, there we go. All right, that's pretty good. Let's get a move on. The physics is really good when picking stuff up. I really, really like it. And you can, you can use these cables to pick up anything. Like if you roll your pickup, you can attach cables to the front and the back and you can pick that sucker right up. Really cool. makes it feel like a proper sandbox. You can come up with all kinds of solutions to these cables. These cables are super, super useful. Okay, I don't know what the best way to get this in here is, but I, I think this is it. Hopefully we don't hit the wash plant. Maybe we should adjust our trajectory a little bit here. Wait for her to stop swinging. Maybe we should do this. Yeah, let's rotate the cab and keep going. Oh, it's pretty tight in here, you guys. Pretty tight. <laughs> All you gotta do is really get it kind of in the ballpark and it'll snap. There we go. Like a glove. Okay, now you guys see what I mean. This is the left sluice box, and we've still got to install the right one. And if we'd installed the right one first, I think it might have been a little more difficult to install this one. Maybe not, I could be wrong. Now that I look at it, it looks like it doesn't really matter. But definitely these are harder to install when the trommel's on. Uh, the trommel lies horizontally above them on that wooden platform. So, good times. We got another one of these to do. Lovely. Let's try not hit the pickup. I think it's a bit high for that.
Okay, that's both the bottom sluices in. So far, so good. Everything's looking cool. So like we said before, this one closest to us is the one that needs the miner's moss, and it takes six mats. That's quite a lot of mats. And then it takes some grates on top of the mats. And if you forget to put the grates in, you'll wash all the gold out of the mats. So this is quite a complicated plant, and uh, it's very big and super expensive. All right, that's number three in, and that's kind of like the tailing chute for the shaker. So the big rocks fall off the back of the shaker and roll down there. Okay, this one might be a little tricky to install because I picked it up backwards. I should have spun it around before I picked it up. So you can see they're clearly labeled in and out. And uh, yeah, this one's the wrong way around. But hopefully we can get up on this little wooden platform here and swing her around and uh, she'll snap into place. Eugh. I don't know. Yeah, that would have been perfect if we had it the right way around. For me, this is some of the best fun in the game. Working out uh, solutions to problems that you've caused yourself. Because <laughs> uh, there's a lot of stuff to manage around here. Just look at all the cables and stuff down there. Things can get out of hand quickly. And you're going to have to work out solutions to crazy stuff as best you can. With all the stuff that you've got at your disposal. So, like I was saying, these cables and uh, all the heavy machinery. They can do more than one thing. And it's real, real fun. All we really need to do is put her down here. Oh. Okay, so all we really need to do is put her down like that, unclip it, drive around the other side and pick it up again. That should work. Okay, that should do it. Last one there, and we should be good to go. That took a little creative excavator work, but we got there in the end. Let's lift her up, swing her around. Actually, let's swing the whole thing around. There we go. This should be pretty straightforward now. There we go. Nothing wrong. Only one left. This is the big one, though. 
Uh, yeah. I think this one should have gone on first. This is what I'm talking about. So the one we just installed, I think goes over the one we're now trying to install. So we may have to uninstall that one. <laughs> Good times. Hopefully I can jam it in there. Alright, there's number five. Let's see if Mighty Gold Rush is merciful. Oh no, the rope is broken. All right, that's why we bought extras. That is unfortunate. Come on, slip in there. <laughs> Damn you, sluice box. Okay, this is a mess. Uh, okay. That should actually make it slightly easier. I just don't want to break any more cables. Okay, let's try from here. I wonder if we can make it to the bucket. Well, nobody said gold mining was safe, you guys. Pretty good. Actually, let's try and keep that on there that there. That worked pretty well. I think these are the broken ones, aren't they? Is it broken or did it just slip off? Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Oh, things have gone badly. Good. Okay, that's that side secure. I wonder if we can drag it up by the two. <laughs> wow, we did it. Okay. Okay, so, for those of you who are currently about to start building your tier 3 wash plant, this is the way it goes. It's those two sluice boxes down at the bottom, the one with the mats and the one without, then this one, then that one lying over there, then this one at the end here. This one at the end here doesn't matter, you can do it any time. But, those two first, then this, this one just under the chains here, and then the one lying on the ground over there. So I don't think we're going to get to the magnetite separated today, but that gives us something to do at the beginning of the next episode. I think I'm going to leave it here for today, you guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, stupid light keeps going off, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!